Namaste, guys. Sorry, I've got a really crap picture today. I'm trying to get it. That's a bit better. I'm in my bedroom, so the lighting's quite um, bad, guys, because it's the evening and it's just like tea time. Just have me a little cup of char quick. Right, I hope you're right, guys. It's Friday. Not that it makes any difference to me. Friday, Saturday, whatever. It's all the same, isn't it? Uh, right, what I was going to do, I've got my angel cards for you today. It is karma here, I'm not going to lie. It might not be though today, because it's always different. So, I am an intuitive psychic reader. I make my own angel cards, and then I'll give you a read from your angel messages through my angels, alright? My name's Kerry, I am nuts, but I'm highly favoured, and I am very, very psychic, alright? So, I've shuffled these cards... And uh, I don't do meditating while I'm on here, because you don't need to. I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch it, all me lighting candles and joysticks, and uh, I think it's all a waste of time. All these terrorists that do that, they're just longing it out. And uh, Right, so anyway, God saw everything, guys, and he did. See, look, they look nice on there, don't they? They It might just be the light with my face. Right, so God saw everything, because... You called this person or these persons out big time. How does someone get so evil? So, yeah, they tried to get you to give up on yourself, this person or people. Yeah, because you called them out big time. I'm going to leave that down, actually. I don't know why I'm putting them back in. Right, you can't see the cards. I'm sorry, because it's only I could do. Right. Listen, guys, this is one of my new cards. Close friends and family are not always good. So these people could be family members of yours, or they could be friends, or maybe you used to be friends. Sometimes people that you trust or are closest to you are actually your enemy, and you wouldn't even know. And, um, yeah, be very careful of people around you, because close friends and family are not always good. Some people get away with things because they think they're your family and they think they can just get away with it. Yeah, and whoever this person is, it could have been a friend of the family or your family. You know your story. I know what I'm saying to you, but I don't know how it fits, okay? Because there's so many of you watching. All my ears are buzzing. Really buzzing. So this is going to resonate with one of you. So someone tried to get you to give up on yourself. Could have been a family member or a close friend, okay? And now you've called them out big time. Yeah, because you started to express yourself more, okay? That's why you've got close friends and family that are not being that good. That's what I'm picking up from that. You've got a lot of joyful experiences awaiting you now, guys. And stop beating yourself up, all right? Stop it. <laughs> I know it's hard, guys, yeah, but honestly, there's no point beating yourself up. It don't get you nowhere, right? Yeah, because who you once was... Sorry, I can't talk because of full moon. Who you once was is now dead. Yeah, you're not the same person you used to be. Yeah, and now you feel good about yourself, and you know you're doing really well, babes, and you are. And it's good to feel good about yourself because you're not the same person that you used to be. And you're not going to give up on yourself now, and you're not. Yeah, close friends and families can go and do one, can't they? Because your close friends and family, or, you, or the people you're having trouble with now, they realise now that they've messed up. And they do. Because they're probably seeing that you're starting to express yourself more, and you're saying no to the flesh and to the spirit more. So I think some of you have got a bit of um, faith or religion. Yeah, now you want to start making new memories, and you do. So could you start expressing yourself now? You're making new memories, and now you've called this person out because they tried to make you give up on your life. It could have been family, and now you've decided I'm not missing people no more because I'm not missing people that don't matter, and you're not. And don't miss people that don't matter. And don't let money take over your faith, guys, all right? Yeah, suffering here, all the suffering you've done here, it will all be reversed when you go back to heaven. It's only a lesson, all this, when you're here, guys, all right? That's all it is. 
And j yeah, just don't let money overtake your faith. A lot of you have got abundance coming in. And you need to get straight in yourself before God gives you your abundance. Because he won't give you abundance if he thinks you're going to still be ruthless with money. Or you're still giving people money or still helping people you shouldn't be helping. You need to love yourself, okay, guys. And then you'll be given your abundance. You might be get, get it given, sorry, in dribs and drabs, okay? Yeah, and stop beating yourself up again. Stop it. Maybe some of you are beating yourself a little bit up about things and what's happened. Listen, don't, okay? Stop missing people that don't matter. Because all they did when they was with you or split out with you was they hated your joy and they don't like you being happy because they're just a creepy-ass idiot. Who probably did make you start beating yourself up. Yeah, probably because that's what they're like with themselves, I just heard. So it makes you like that. You don't let anyone put you down, okay? Yeah, because you're not going to be suffering for much more, and you're not. Yeah, you could be a young daddy, or you could have a son who's a young daddy, or, or grandson, just so that resonates to you, or the person you was with was a young daddy. Right, you could be a Pisces, or dealing with a Pisces. Have got any more for the collective? Oh, I don't like that card. <sighs> One of you is drugged or poisoned. I think you probably know, or you maybe you wasn't sure, but you was. Yeah, someone tried poisoning you or did poison you because they knew, this is ridiculous, because they knew you went through blood, sweat and tears and you went through a lot and you did. And this wasn't easy on you and it wasn't. And don't worry, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? You're getting a pay raise soon. You're getting abundance coming in and you are. You are. You are. You've got to be good, all right? It might be that it's come out about someone poisoning or drugging you. Or I just heard someone might come back and tell you that you was poisoned or drugged. Or you might already know, okay? Yeah, and the person who did it is the person that hates your joy. And they're a creepy ass. You'll know who this is. I'm feeling male on this, but I don't know because it could be a female with a um, masculine energy, but you'll know your story, but they are a creepy ass. More creepy than before, I just said. Yeah, they're now on drugs heavy. Yeah, hoping you're getting a pay raise because they want some of your money because they know you've been through blood, sweat and tears, and I think they know. Yeah, they do. They know that you're coming into something because you've been hermiting, I feel, because it wasn't easy on you. So you took yourself indoors... Yeah, you went through blood, sweat and tears, you went through. Maybe one, two or three years, I'm feeling, on this. Yeah, well, don't worry, because you're getting a pay raise soon, guys, all right? Yeah, and it, all this is about now, guys, is learning about yourself. Let me put that forward so you stop the blur. That's better. Yeah, it's about learning about yourself. So that's all you need to do. Someone's got a new car coming. Or you've already got a new car. New car on the way. Oh, yes. I just heard you might be getting a job with transport or you might need a um, transport for a new career that's coming in. But don't worry, you'll be getting a new car or you'll be able to have enough money to get a new car. Yeah, you could be Pisces, darling, or you could be a Capricorn, uh, Virgo or Taurus. Yeah, you see the beauty in all the smallest things. That's why you're going to be getting a pay raise soon. It is, because you've stopped missing people now and you're thinking about you and you know that God will turn every bad situation around in your life because you kept praying. And God says now, rest in me. There you go, because he's working in your life and he is. Yeah, and you have no need to explain yourself to anybody. You don't need to. And not everybody's against you. Right? I keep telling you this. I know you've had a lot of slander and I know you've had a lot of people against you, yeah, but... Not everybody's against you now. They're not. They're not. They can see what you've been through. Yeah, plain. I just said it's um, proof of the pudding. It's plain. So, yeah. Oh, I dropped some cards. Let's see what's on there. Right, they're stuck in their ways, and they are. And uh, they always will be stuck in their ways. These people were stuck in their ways when you were with them. I think you just went along with it and you didn't really notice. They're nothing like you, these people. They're completely on another planet, seriously. And they are stuck in their ways, and they are. 
Yeah. And they are a creepy arse, and they are. And guys, sage and spiritual bath if you can, because I think somebody's sending you a little bit of negativity because you've called them out big time. They don't like it. They know that you know that they try to get you to give up on yourself, I just heard. Yeah, and I am so proud of you. That's from your angels. Your angels are really proud of yourself because you didn't give up on yourself. Right, let me have another little shuffle. I'm going to choose another deck, guys, because I feel we've had enough of these ones. So, yeah, stop beating yourself up. Close friends and family are in the background causing trouble. If it's not family, it's friends. It's because you called them out. But your angels are really proud of you, okay, because you didn't give up on yourself. And God is working in your favour over this creepy ass because you suffered enough since you've been here. And he's not having it anymore because they're just stuck in their ways. Wanting you to explain yourself. You don't need to explain yourself because you're not beating yourself up anymore over these people. And they obviously want you to miss them because you obviously used to miss them before. And now they realise you're probably not missing them as much because they've messed up big time. And you need to start now making new memories, okay? And know that not everybody's against you, all right? Like, have a cup, sip of me coffee. Mmm. Because, guys, you had the courage to walk away. And that means you've got strength to let people go. And you know, I'm not being funny, you let them go. And you knew they broke your trust. And that's very brave of you to do that and let someone go just because they broke your trust. You could have hung on and stayed with these people and ended up really beating yourself up. Then you'd have been stuck in your ways. Uh, seriously. I know it's hard what you've done, but you've done the right thing. I can feel it, and I can. And you have been through blood, sweat, and tears, darling, and you have. And it's now for you. And this is a blessing for somebody out there watching, and it is. All right? Everything's getting restored now, guys, and it is. And you're getting a new cock. Yeah, because somebody out there is living in their ego. Yeah, and don't stick to the rules all the time. Be spontaneous. You don't want to be stuck in your ways like these people. I think that's what it is, because you don't stick to the rules and you're a bit spontaneous. I feel these people wish they were spontaneous, but they're not. I'm oh, sorry I do this, but that's... I feel they're very... Mm, like, they're not much, but they think they're more than they are. And they live in their ego. And I get them, like, mm, mm, very... Yeah, like... I don't know, like Cinderella and the Ugly Sisters. I'm not being funny. That story comes up to me all the time with you, and it does. Like, you were Cinderella, and these were the Ugly Sisters. And one of the Ugly Sisters ain't even a fucking woman. It's a man. Probably wishing it was a woman. A little bitch, I just said. One of these males around you really is very feminine. Like, they like to get attention like a woman. And they, I think they're jealous of you as a woman. And they're a male. Which I find really strange. That's what I'm picking up on. It's because they're not healed and they're not. Yeah. And look what's on the bottom. Because that's all they're doing is substance abuse. These people have lost the plot. They're probably imagining all sorts because of the substance abuse. <clears throat> Confirmation. Sorry, burping. I never burp unless I'm on tarot. Because they're not healed. And they live in their ego. What a way to go, eh? Kindness always comes back to you and it does and you've been very kind and this will all make sense one day and it will guys all right it will make sense because you was kind that's why you didn't get stuck with these people and ended up beating yourself up because you started afresh every day and you wanted a new prompt in life and i don't feel like you wanted oh see how that landed then that's from your angels angels are here to support you now guys all right any professional endeavors that you've got just call upon your angels and they'll help you all right, and they will guide you, okay? Just call out to them. That's for your angels now. Yeah, because you've been doing so much hard work and you are so determined these days and you are, and you're much more practical and you'll have a lot of success and stability and you are because your angels are here to support you in anything. I think a lot of you lost your way before or maybe with these people, maybe you lost a home or lost a job or lost your mind, I just said. Well, you're not going to this time because your angels are here and they are supporting you big time. All right? Yeah, because no one enjoys being angry. No, because these bullies, they're only angry because they're lonely people. And don't feel sorry for them. They couldn't spend a minute on their own because they don't want to look at themselves. If they did, they must be exhausted. For how long this has been going on, they must be exhausted. Yeah, keeping up with you, I just heard. They're trying to keep up with you. Yeah, because now you've come further forward. 
they're exhausted keeping up with you i just heard that's crazy isn't it no one enjoys being angry well they might some people do but they're just lonely people because they're bullies but there's no excuse i keep telling you this yeah i was abused person and a child i've also had substance abuse and i tell you what i you don't have to go around hurting people just because you're hurt i've got angels in here i can feel them yeah, you don't need to hurt people. Hurt people don't hurt people. Monsters hurt people. People that just enjoy it. Because you don't hurt people if you're a hurt person. You don't. Why would you want to do that? It's ridiculous. But anyway. Oh, my ears are buzzing. Trust your intuition, guys, all right? You know. Because something you prayed for is on the way. So think about what you prayed for. Because you stayed strong. That's why something's on the way to you now, guys. Let's have a shuffle. I don't know where we're going with this. I never do. I always think when I'm doing you a read, it don't make sense. But find out who you are and do it on purpose. That's what Dolly Parton says. Just find out who you are and just do it on purpose. Oh, Dolly Parton. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. <laughs> I fucking love Dolly Parton. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Just do it on purpose. Because it's time now to love your inner child. I think a lot of you have gone through a lot of healing now. I mean, healing goes on forever, it does. It does take, like, um, all your life. But you will get there. Yeah, don't close your heart off to love, guys, all right? Just because you've lost out on love this time. That wasn't love. That was control. Manipulation. Love bombing. Gaslighting. That's not love. That's not love. Sex isn't love, yeah? Don't close your heart off to love, okay? Because you're a lovely little soul. I can feel it. And don't be afraid to fail, all right? There's no such thing as failure. If you try, you haven't failed, all right? So don't be afraid to fail. And you cannot tame a free spirit. These people will never tame you because you're a free spirit and you're a harmless free spirit. I can feel it. Yeah, you might be a little bit rough around the edges. But don't close off your heart to love, okay? Don't. Yeah, because you need... Oh, I love my cards. Do you know why? You're not going to close your heart off to love. Because you need to love broken people like you. What did I just say? Yeah, you need to help broken people like you. That's why you're here. That's why you've had a broken life. So you can help broken people. So don't close off your heart to love because you've got a, love, a lot of love to give to broken people, all right? Yeah, and you've got nothing to fear now. Because you don't know until you try. Someone misses your cooking. Maybe you used to cook together with this person. They find you like... um like more homely maybe that's the home they're missing off you where you cut them out yeah feeling more confident now you are yes you are well done and more happy oh i love that i'm glad you're feeling more happy yeah you know why because you trust your intuition now and you're probably not dealing with someone who is a fucking joker who is this joker seriously father narcissist told you i could feel them out it could be your father a father yeah, confirmation. There's <clears throat> someone who's fathered a child in their life, okay? So it could be anyone. You know your story, all right? And they're a joker, and they don't care about your feelings, and they don't. I'm sorry, they don't. And they don't like the fact that you're feeling more confident, and they hate the fact that you're happy, and they have or made bad options, and they know there's no going back now, and all they want to do is come home because they miss your cooking. And I think you used to look after these people like uh, they was a king. And you were a bit of a slave. And I think you used to run around like a headless chicken with this idiot. Mm. I think you went through blood, sweat and tears just looking after this person. And it weren't easy on you. I don't feel like this person looked after you hardly at all. No, because now you're making every day for you now. And you are. Yeah, you are. Don't close your eyes to love, all right? Don't. Right, that's not love. What you've been through isn't love. It's arseholes. They're not lovers, they're arseholes. They taught you a good lesson though, didn't they? Shake their hand and thank you, when, thank them when you see them. Because you've got a lot of wisdom now. What did I just say? Shake their hand when you see them, thank them. Thank you. Thank you for trying to destroy me. Because you made me a stronger and better person. Thanks for throwing all them boulders at me when I was trying to work my ass off all day while you were partying. Thank you for that. Because now they have nothing. They don't, they have nothing. These people have... Oh, oh. I saw my ex this morning in his car. I didn't recognise him. He looked like he had AIDS. I'm not even joking. He looked like he's nearly gone. He's nearly gone. Because he probably is. Because he's done so much crap to me. I know what you're going through, guys. He done so much hurtful crap to me and my kids and my whole 
people I knew, my friends, my whole community. Oh yeah, I saw him this morning. He doesn't know I saw him. I didn't even recognise him. And he looked like he was dying. I'm not joking. I don't revel in it. But these people have done too much. Because I didn't want to learn wisdom about you or about life. And you don't need to wait for closure. These people don't get to close off what you need closing. You can close this off with God. You can close this off with Jesus. You can close this off yourself. All right? I tell you before, no one shuts the door when you leave a room. So shut it yourself. These people like to think that you need closure because it's all to do with their control over you. So they think that you'll be sitting there, oh, I won't give her closure then. Oh, she'll be waiting for me forever or him. No, you won't be because you can close things off yourself. These people have no permission to have to give you closure. Who are they, God? No, they're not. No, they're not. You have a lot of wisdom. You can do this yourself. Yeah, keep quiet. It's very loud. I told you this before. Keep quiet because they don't like it. And they like to know all your business. They like to know what you're doing, when you're doing it, how many times you're doing it, with how many people you're doing it. Well, you don't need to tell anyone your business anymore because it's a secret because you can't trust these people because all they do is gossip. And when they gossip about you, all it does is stop you having fun and it just stops you moving on, mate. So, literally, keep quiet, don't give them any ammunition and don't let them know what's going on because all they want to know is what you're doing so they can create new levels and new devils for you to play a little game with you again. So keep quiet, keep, don't tell them nothing, don't tell anyone anything. Keep to yourself because guess what, guys, they got a black heart and they're yucky and they have no nice things for you. They don't want anything nice, haven't you? And I'll tell you what, they're not a choice. You're not a choice for them now and they're not a choice for you. So tell them up yours keep quiet all right it's really loud just trust your intuition you've got something coming on the way to you spiritually all right you'll be all right yeah you need to do something for yourself at least once a week and i leave it blank there because it's for you to choose you need to do something for yourself once a week right you choose. I'm not going to give you an option. You choose. One thing you want to do for you. No one else for you. You could might want to go and sit somewhere. You might want to see someone. You might want to just do an activity. You might not even be as big as that. You might just want to watch one little program. Set something out for you. For you. Not the kids. Not your friends. Nobody else. Not the dog. Not the cat. Not the mouse. No one. For you. For you. Do something for you once a week, all right? Please promise me that. Don't matter if it means having a bath on your own with the door shut where the cat don't normally come in. Seriously, just something for you. Look after yourself, all right? Love yourself how you love other people. Because that's what you need. I'm going all goosey. You need a lot of love from yourself. And you start loving yourself. Yeah, because these people, right, put you in trauma bond situations because they know that they can't get to you the way they used to. So all they're going to do is try and come back and put you in a trauma bond. Well, you're not going to do that now because these little idiots don't realise you've done a lot of healing and you've probably heal healed a lot of your trauma, childhood worries. If you're not, you're probably going for it now. I can feel it. But don't worry because they're blocked and all they want to do is come back and just basically trauma bond you. They're messed up. Oh, my ears are buzzing. They are messed up people, these are. Seriously, sorry, I'm just touching my ears. <sighs> Concentrate on you and your little family, all right? You need time to sort out your inner child, okay? And you do, all right? You're probably doing that now. Take your time. Yeah, because you're the truth teller and they don't like it. Because you've outed someone and the energy's been lifted now and it has. They're probably feeling now where they were quite up high and almighty. Now they're not. They're all feeling how you used to feel, I just heard. Yeah, scared, paranoid. Don't know what you're going to do, I've just heard. Some of you, have, I know from the other time when I've done a reading, you've given a letter or something or you've outed this person online or through work or something like that. Yeah, you've told the truth about something that's outed these people. Don't you dare go back on it because this is going to save your life. Yeah, because the energy's been lifted now. They can see probably that you feel more confident or you look more confident. And the more confident you feel, the more better you feel, the worse they feel. I'm not saying it to be horrible, but it's like they drained your energy and now God's giving it back to you, what they took off you. So now, that's why I said earlier, they must be exhausted. Because you think about all the times you've been healing and all the times they've still been running around. And these people aren't young. They must be exhausted. 
Oh, don't. One of my neighbours have just had a heart attack. And do you know what she did yesterday? I'm walking karma. I'm telling you, I am walking karma. I keep telling people, don't keep pissing me off. Because people drop it like flies for a minute. minute. Anyway, my neighbour yesterday, I told her to her face because she kept letting her dog shit all over the place. I'm sick of it. Anyway, I left a note yesterday and I called the council. I put, I didn't swear, I put, don't let your dog wee and poo. Pick up your wee and poo, it's disgusting. Anyway, when I walked in yesterday, she would never say anything to my face. She waits till I get upstairs on the third floor. She went, oh, you, and I went, who are you oying? Don't oy me. She went, oh, I'll oy you a light. <laughs> Ten past eleven last night, she had a heart attack. Be careful, guys, because see, when you fuck about with us chosen ones at the moment, we've been through enough of our exes. We don't need your shit as well, because any neighbours and that that are doing your head in, be careful, because they only got to say one wrong word, shut, and God will take them out, because God's had enough. And I'm telling you now, this woman downstairs, she's only two years older than me. She said, oh, I feel a bit funny. Yeah, and then wanted us to look after her dog. <laughs> Shouldn't have told me, oi, you, yesterday. Oi, you. She's always talking to me like an idiot. Yeah, had a heart attack. Oh, well. Guys, believe God is true. Karma can be instant or karma can take ages and they'll wait for you to collect everything up and then they'll take it all off you. Well, this was instant because I think my angels probably thought, you know what, my carry's had enough of this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they thought, oh, she must have thought I was just as dumb as her. <laughs> Fuck, so many people. She's just like my ex. Don't know why I'm whispering. She can't even hear me because she ain't in. She's in hospital. <laughs> I got an XL bully. She told my neighbour the other day she can't even control that dog. Eight weeks I've been training for. I said, You were the one calling him up to come up on you, you little bitch. I went mad, yeah. Thought I was as dumb as her, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> Tell you guys, karma's real, love. Karma's real. If I was a, if I was a um, karmic now, mate, I'd be very frightened. <coughs> That's confirmation. Someone trying to stop you talking, mate. It does get better. And it will. And you're constant, constantly growing. I nearly said to see you and see what I've done, for God's sake. You are constantly growing, all right? And everything's getting better. Warning. I just said... Uh, <laughs> warning, warning, warning. Keep them away from you, for goodness sake, while you're healing your inner child. Oh no, complain a lot. Does this person complain a lot? Complains a lot. Yeah, because you get gifts off your ancestors and they don't like it. They find you're very highly favoured and they don't know why it's you. That's why they're jealous of you. Yeah, they complain a lot about you. I think they complain a lot. Keep them away. Ugh. Yeah, and you matter to me, and you do, and I love you. Keep smiling and be happy. You know you matter to me, guys. Anyone here who's new, welcome. This is a nut house, mate. But I love you, and I am here for you. And I'm just here, basically, because God sees your tears, and he guided me here to be your friend or your reader, and I'm here to help you. That's it. I don't get paid to do this. I do this because I do this for God. All right, and I'm just here for you, okay? Because your path will become clear when you connect with yourself, and it will, and I feel it has anyway. And if you feel lost and confused, just go within, all right? And just pull yourself together and start loving the inner you, all right? Yeah, and start writing down your feelings and thoughts. Maybe do a bit of blogging and just let them out, all right? And you're not in a... I feel you are in isolation, but not like that. I feel like you're in isolation for your own good because you... um. You might have felt a little bit insecure, and I think you've lost a bit of money in the past. And I think you do worry quite a lot, and you shouldn't. Don't worry. Worrying does nothing. Don't worry. You give it to the Lord. You don't worry about nothing. There's nothing to worry about. We live in a matrix. There's nothing to worry about. You've got God, okay? Don't worry. And then you won't be insecure. I know you're probably worrying about money. Don't. It's on its way. It is. Don't think about money. You won't get it. All right, you're not going to be in poverty and you're not. You might feel like you are at the moment. I'm not rich. Trust me, I don't work. I don't work. No, I don't work. I'm on benefits, mate. Because my ex-boyfriend made me so ill, I can't work. I'm an end-of-life carer, yeah, for people with dementia. And um, I studied for quite a long time to do it, yeah. And I came here where I am at the south of England, near Bournemouth. I came here to be a nurse. 
And uh, he ruined every job I had. And I was a really good carer. And when I was at my last job, she said to me, Kerry, you could be a nurse. I said, I'd love to do it. I'd love to work with kids. And then I got accepted for fostering. And he ruined that for me as well. So I know what you're going through. I was going to get a little boy who was eight. Yeah, I didn't want a baby. I wanted a boy. Because I fucked up with my kids a little bit. And I, um, yeah, and she said I was all right on my own. And it didn't matter if I smoked either. As long as I didn't smoke in the house. I gave up smoking weed. I got no criminal record. And then because uh, of my ex, I couldn't do it. Because he kept on coming to my house. And he knew I was fostering. And he was like, just made everything so bad. So the police would get called. I know what you're going through, guys. Well, I know. All right, I've lost everything as well. I look like I've got a lot. I ain't. Everything I wear's charity shop. Yeah, I've lost my teeth. I've lost. I lost my mind with my ex. I couldn't even talk last year. All right, I know what you're going through. Don't think I'm a tarot reader sitting here and I. I'm just reading cards. I'm not. I'm a collective like you, and I know exactly what you're going through. All right, I'm a fifty-year-old woman that's been through a life, mate. I love this card. See, when I get normal, I'm buzzing. Because my when my angels know I get a bit serious, they send me this card. <laughs> and if you've been here before, you know what it is. Right, what did I just say? My cards never lie. Don't give up on yourself, all right? Because I didn't give up on myself. I nearly did, but I didn't. I, only, I died through my ex. Seriously, I died. He killed me. And then I met Jesus, because Jesus brought me back. And when I went out up the road and told these, showed all these motherfuckers me coming out, all I could hear was, I'm every woman. And oh my God, I looked different. I had long black hair. Black hair. I got short blonde hair. I've lost loads of weight. And I'll tell you what, I was rocking it down the ice street for all these motherfuckers to see me, because they all tried to destroy me. I know what you're going through. Right, listen. Right, listen. My cards don't lie. I laugh because my angels, I love them. Don't give up on yourself. Especially when or if you are lonely. Because you're not lonely. Alright? You're not lonely. You're not on your own. Alright? And you deserve so much more than what you've had. And you do. Do you know why I love this card? Because they're all fucking skanks, mate. They're skanks. This word, I don't know where I got it from. This was a download from one of my angels. I think my daughter used to say skank. One day I was sitting there in the middle of the world, I heard my angels say, write down skank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've snorted! <laughs> it always makes me laugh. That's why they put it in here. So don't worry about these skanks. You're not a skank. You're beautiful, right? You deserve so much more loving than you do. Mm -mm -mm. I love you. You do, all right? Because these little fuckers are falling in the hole that they dug for you. Because they know you deserve so much more loving and so does God. Because you're beautiful and they're a skank. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> don't give up, right? Because especially now, don't give up, okay? You're not lonely. If you feel lonely, you're not lonely. Your higher self is up there in heaven, okay? It's like the Matrix. I keep telling you this. Talk to your higher self. Your higher self is up there in heaven, okay? If not, talk to your grandparents. Talk to your parents if they've died. Write down stuff to your grandparents or just talk to God. You'll be surprised what you'll get back. Ask angels to send you numbers, yeah, for verification. Then suddenly you'll feel like, should I look at my phone? Free, free, free on my phone at the minute. That's normally new beginnings, that is. Free, free, free. I think it's to do with angels. Well, look it up. Google free, 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 because it just come up on my phone as I said that. All right? You're going to be all right, mate. You will. You're going to be all right. You're going to get a new car soon. I feel really happy about your read today, and I do. And this is a blessing for somebody watching me, and it is. You would have been dead, mate. You would have been dead. Seriously, if you stayed with these people, I can feel it. Because this little creepy arse, yeah, hates you being happy. Yeah, because they don't like the fact that you're loving your inner child, and they haven't got rid of their, their demons, yeah? Don't be humble that you're getting better. Don't. Don't feel bad. And guess what? I fucking love you, and I do, and I do love you. I love you, I do. Remember, I love you, all right? Get out of your head, okay? Yeah, and you ain't got amnesia. No, you ain't. As much as these people think you've got amnesia, you haven't got amnesia. You didn't imagine none of this. Everything you imagined or you thought about was actually true because you've got good intuition. This is what your angel's telling me. They tried to tell you that you weren't, oh, you've not got intuition. You don't know what you're talking about. You ain't got amnesia. Everything that happened, happened, okay? I'm getting whether you were abused, drugged, whatever, and you got tried, someone tried to tell you this didn't happen. This did happen. 
all right? It did happen. And I believe you're celibate through this or you are clean from drugs or like you've purified yourself or your body. You've purified your body. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're treating your body a bit like a temple at the moment and maybe you've been put off sex because this person's like, my dog's not snoring. Don't know where he is. Good health. That's you. You're going to be getting good health now. Yeah, try and walk barefooted, okay? Or paint your little toenails. Men as well. <laughs> Go on, do it. Yeah, listen, it's life, right? I'm going to end on this. You don't figure it out. You just climb on that beast and ride it. Listen, guys, I tell you this all the time, all right? And I know it probably gets on your nerves, but I don't care. I'm tingling. I've got to tell you. Listen. Life's like... Listen to an old bird, right? Life's a roller coaster. Sometimes you've got to ride it, all right? Sometimes you feel sick. Sometimes you want to get off. Sometimes you want to stay on. Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Sometimes you want to scream and shout and let it all out. And sometimes you lose money, okay? And sometimes you're just going around in a fucking loop, all right? Life is a roller coaster, right? When you're having an up day, you may have a couple of down days, yeah? But remember, when you're on the down slope, Things can only get better. And when you're on a high, don't ever forget when you was on that low, all right? And always, always say thank you when you're on a high. So when you go down to the low, you know that God will help pick you up again. And that's what life is like. It's like a fucking roller coaster. And it is. People jump on. People jump off. People fall off. People just do your head in. That's what it's like. And you can't change it, okay? We are here to do this together. We're only here to love each other and love ourselves. That's all God wants us to do, all right? I told you before, I don't care if you're, if you're gay, straight, black, white, Chinese, Japanese, what are these dirty needs? I couldn't give a shit, mate. And neither could God. Because all he wants you to do is love yourself. That's it. And I love you. Have a nice day, guys. Well, actually, no, have a nice weekend, yeah? All right? I love you. All my likes and my subscriptions, I am truly grateful. And I mean that. I'm not saying it to you to like the video. You want to like the video, it's up to you. I don't ask you for likes. That's up to you. But it gets me moving. It means I can help more people like you. That's all. Like I said, if I was on here for the money, I'd do shorts. I don't like doing shorts. I tried doing them. I don't like them. My son said the other day, Mum, you've got to do shorts. No, I haven't. Because I'm not on here to get paid. I'm on here because I want to help you, right? Because God sent me to help you. Because I'm God's little helper. Could be Santa's little helper, so I would be God's little helper. I'm as small as an elf. <laughs> Adios! Told you it's nuts here.